in the grand scheme of healthcare, um, I think there is still lots of room to grow with regards to the role of two things. One is preventive um, primary care approaches and then community medicine and community health. Here at Dimmick, it's physical health, it's behavioral health, addictions care, and early childhood education that we feel is the, you know, the, if you will, um, at least our, our take, our riff on you know, the whole package. And that's kind of how we built our care models here. We work very hard to integrate our services. So full behavioral health is integrated into primary care. We've got a full team of therapists, child psychiatry, adult psychiatry, all within the primary care team. We work pretty hard to connect families who are in our Head Start to primary care services. We've got an initiative right now to connect folks who are in our recovery homes um, for addiction um, into primary care, because those are folks who you know, may not have been engaged in the medical health system in a while. So um, we work pretty hard in this organization to connect up services so that it makes it easy for patients and families to access what they need. One of the areas of work that we're doing right now is how do we integrate those um, pieces better together, both the addictions and the physical health pieces, as well as how do we move people across the continuum of addictions care in a much more streamlined way. I think everybody recognizes a dramatic you know, challenge with the opioid epidemic, both in the Commonwealth as well as across the nation. Um, and Dimmick having you know, this um, continuum of recovery services on campus with primary care on campus. Um, we also have outpatient medication-assisted treatment programs. Our outpatient MAT program will reach into the detox and try to start somebody on an outpatient sort of regimen as they're finishing up their days in the detox so that when they leave, they've already gotten started and they have appointment that next day in the outpatient setting. Um, which again, doesn't sound like rocket science, but you could imagine if, if there was a detox service that was far away from an outpatient, like how would that person navigate the system to get to the outpatient, you know, the next level of care, if you will. We've got some really interesting work on oral health in the primary care setting that there's a lot of interest in, again, because, you know, people who are either uninsured or who have Medicaid, um, it's really difficult to access um, good dental care. And so how can we reach into primary care to start some of that messaging and start some of that connection while people are coming for their, we've started in pediatrics and the primary care well-child visits, and then connect them up to a dental home through that. If you can figure out something that works, you can have a huge impact on communities that really um, need it.